Alright. I think. I personally think that was a blast of throat. I would still piece of this candy, but <laughs> I got a lot of work here. Joe, Joe, grab me a piece of this candy, my daughter. Come on. Come on, nigga, come on. I don't need no candy. Shut the fuck up. Hurry up, hurry up. Come here, come here, come here. Let's do it. Yeah, you dig? <laughs> I just been ballin' for days, call a nigga D Wade. I just got lost in my ways. Say so chasing out the cake. Why they hating on my game? When these niggas never played. MVP, I'm too great. I'm too great. Oh, Kobe Bryant, living life like, like the goat. Okay. Got the game by his throat. Smoking gas, make me choke. Put him lean, I move slow. Run up on me, get smoked. Yo, 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 what up, world? Mr. Michael Solo. We are on the scene, with living proof. Today we pulled up on the south side of Pittsburgh, down here at the Rap Cave, to check out a young artist by the name of Year. Come with me as I check out what he's up to. This diamond's dancing on my chain, whoa, whoa, catch me swerve in the range, bro. Right now, we at the Rap Cave down on um, the south side of Pittsburgh, I'm my producer, Roscoe. I'm Young Year, you know, one of the artists from Dunham World Entertainment. Um, I run my own label, HME. Hit Mom Entertainment, Gutter Gang, HME, GG, DWE. You know. We're on two projects right now. I'm working on um, the Dungey Boys project with me, Yano Deal, Klee. You know what I'm saying? Me, Yano Deal, Klee, um, the Des Loke, and uh, Prophecy. You know what I'm saying? All five of us, we're the Dungey Boys. So, other than that, it's just me, yeah, and then we all got our solo projects on the way too. Got some shit going with um, Adult Swim, you know? So, um, it's like um, basically, I'm doing a uh, uh, I'm getting a feature from one of their artists, right? And basically, he's basically just opened the door, you know what I'm saying? So he's letting us in, and then we're working with um, three of their animators. Do half ounce a year, you know what I'm saying, right? And then I was gonna do the flip. Half ounce a year? Half ounce of year, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm that dope, you know what I'm saying? My album's gonna be cracked, you know what I'm saying? That's that dope. So I got a half of it, right? And then I was gonna come with D Fresh on the, re on the uh, flip, you know what I'm saying? The flip was gonna be like a six track, eight track EP. I was just strictly party, defresh, you know what I'm saying? When y'all party and this shit, that's when you sell on the weed, you get a little bit of money in, you know what I'm saying? So once you get that money in, then you hit the re-up, you know what I'm saying? And the re-up was gonna be on fucking defresh still, because I'm getting it back, you know what I'm saying? With the solo project, there's like two personas, if you kind of feel what I'm saying. Like there's Yair, and then there's uh, defresh, you know what I'm saying? Yair is more the trap, drill side of music, you know what I'm saying? Like he does like rap, trap, you know what I'm saying? Hardcore hip hop, if you want to call it that, you know what I'm saying? And then defresh, he does like party, college, you know, high school music, you know? Even though he graduated or he got expelled or whatever you want to call it, you know, like, and he still does that shit, you know what I'm saying? He appeals to the younger side, and then Yair appears to the, appeals to the, you know, his peers, people his age, you feel me? Yeah, I got, I mean, a lot of influence, of course, you know, like, I got, like, uh, Rich the Kid, Famous Dex, Big E, Tupac, Big Pun, Big L. A lot of people, you know, a big thing with me. Like, I don't want to just be categorized as one thing. You dig? Smoking loud, lifted out my kicks, sipping activists, but still on go with the savage shit. Bro, hit me with the sack like man, bitch. All my niggas go, ain't no plan of shit. I want to just be, oh, he's just another new age rapper. He's just rapping about this, this, and this, and this. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I got this. All right, I got, ready? I got some new age shit. I got some old school shit. And I got some in between shit, you feel me? I got shit for everybody, you feel me? I wanna get in the R&B, I wanna be an all around artist. Every song, I treat it like it's an album, so it's different, you know what I'm saying? Like, an album's supposed to be diverse, you feel me? So I treat every song like it should be diverse. Words are powerful, man, that shit is not a joke. I got performed at uh, Sertalio's and uh, the Hideout on the South Side. Two years ago, we went on tour, we went to um, New York, Denver, and Florida. We wanna go farther with traveling, I definitely wanna like, I want to see the world, man. I want, I want to just go like everywhere. I see myself on Elevator World Star and like rolling loud and doing big shows and just living in, living in a nice house, man. I've been smoking, I've been faded, I've been Music is powerful, man. Music is words, you know what I'm saying? When, when words are powerful, you know, the pen is mightier than the sword, that's what they say. These niggas be feeling themselves. I know I'm the shit you can smell. I'm doping the shit you can sell. Half out can't fit on the scale. Yeah, yeah. Yo, this is Yer, and we on the scene with Living Proof.